All right, we're back out in the test garden today with uh, the AT Pro in the Simplex. So the AT Pro, a little more comparable. That's about uh, you know, 500 bucks now. I think you can get that for four, 488, that sport special. But that comes with the five by eight coil and doesn't come with uh, any headphones. So you'd have to spend another, I think I paid 160 for the, um, the Garrett Z-Link headphones with the transmitter. Um, my father loves the AT Pro, that's what he hunts with, so I'm borrowing that today for this test. Uh, same test garden here, nothing changed. I got a small separation test behind us too. And we'll go through these quick because I've gone through them in the last couple of videos, but we'll take the AT Pro and the Simplex through them quick. And um, a couple of people asked where I got these from. These are from Lowe's. They're just plastic stakes and washers right here that I label each one with. I use this test garden as another tool, you know? This is, when I get a machine and these targets, I got a couple with iron over there and I got deep silver and a couple deep relics. These, I mean, this is a valuable tool to have here. And, you know, the longer it stays in the ground, the more it's marinating too, you know? You got rain, snow, the heat dries everything up. And so while things are marinating down there, it's simulating just like it would a hunt a lot more you know it's a lot better than air tests or digging a hole placing something in the ground because that's fresh so these are out here and uh it's the test garden i built a couple years ago i just started filming it this year but um you know i got some deep stuff in here that's hard for detectors to hit and um today we're going to place the simplex and the apt pro over them i've already tested them and i'll give my thoughts on each so we'll start with the at pro You gotta keep these far apart too. They don't like each other. The Simplex is on 12 kilohertz and I think the AT Pro is at 15, correct me if I'm wrong. I've already ground balanced this. It's ground balanced at 93. We have Pro Zero mode and full sensitivity. So the nine inch SLQ, which I mentioned in a couple other videos, is a tough target. Little peep. This is the stock coil. I have, uh, my father uses the 13 inch D-Tech that hits this no problem. So anyone who swings an AT Pro knows that there are some great aftermarket coils for it. The 13 inch D-Tech is a, a very light coil that separates well and definitely gets you a couple more inches of depth. So this is the stock coil. Little peep here and there, but nothing you would stop to dig. If you're swinging, I don't hear anything. Okay, seven inch Merc, no problem for the stock coil. This is the lantern part. Okay, eight inch token. This is a game token, I forget from where. Oh no, that's from um, Vegas. That's a pretty good sized token. This is a Garrett coin that came with the Garrett machines. Uh, eight inch SLQ. 1856 9 inch large scent. Not a problem. 6 inch iron washer. Uh, this is a quarter at 6 inches surrounded by iron. Uh, 6 inch uh, small flat button. We have an 8 inch buckle and a four inch bottle cap. So everything in this garden is hitting better today in my ears because we just had a, a rainstorm. So let's get the simplex. So something I've noticed when it comes to depth is that these two machines are pretty comparable with the simplex in its park mode. So park mode, a couple of these are tough particularly this uh, silver quarter. This is a nine inch silver quarter. So this is ground balanced at 85.4. I did a couple tests and ground balancing definitely helps in the simplex uh, when it comes to depth here anyway. So this is full sensitivity, park mode. We have a truck going by, let's let him pass. And the nine inch SLQ. So you hear it. And uh, as a couple people mentioned, they are correct. The Simplex does like a faster swing speed. So this is pretty slow. 
and you hear it pop through. Now where the simplex kills the AT Pro with the stock coil is the field mode, as you can tell. But a slow swing speed, you gotta, it's a, a whisper, but then you gotta catch that. And then when you pick it up, it comes through better. Uh, seven inch Merc, let's go to park mode first. Whisper, right? But then if I pick it up, so how, how you decide to hunt, just keep that in mind. And then field mode, I, I wish that field mode had three tones. The lantern part, the little spin knob for a lantern. That's in park. That's in field. Eight inch Vegas token. That's in park, screaming signal. Field mode. 8 inch Garrett coin, park his field. This is an 8 inch SLQ in park. So you can tell you got in the headphones, I'm sure that'd be screaming. But then you speed it up a lot louder, field mode. Nice and loud. Uh, 9 inch US large scent. That's park, speed it up, a lot louder, field mode, comes banging through, iron washer, yeah, we don't need to check anything there, uh, the six inch quarter surrounded by iron, simplex finds it, four inch bottle cap, that's park mode, field mode. Yep. This is a six inch small flat button. That's field mode. Let's go over to park. Same thing, a whisper going slow. See that? If you're going slow, you might miss that. Because it sounds like there's some other interference sounds a lot alike. Then if you, if you catch it and you pick up, no ID, no no ID in park on a lot of these deep targets, but field. So you're going to have to get used to uh, two tones if you like the simplex. I, I think it's a great machine, but I mean, even when I'm using the dais, I like at least three tones. I like to know there's iron. I like to know that there's a mid-tone and then something that just stops me in my tracks and tells me I got to dig. With this, you're going to get that a lot and you just got to take a look at the ID or just dig it all. Here's an eight inch buckle. That's field. Nice high tone in park. But I'm telling you, the difference between park and field is definitely a couple inches. All right. Now, his still continues to be my concern with the simplex at 12 kilohertz. I think we're having a problem with some mid conductors, okay? This is park mode or faster mode. Okay, nothing in there. It's chirping on the falsing iron. You can tell it's given an idea of four. So here's a nickel. Now I want to show you some good as well, because this is this doesn't come across very good. All right, so that's that's a mid conductor. I guess a positive is you might miss some pull tabs <laughs> that are mixed with iron. Okay. And then we'll go even higher with a high conductor. So here's the AT Pro on the same nickel. So because this is running a frequency of 15, I think it's just separating better on the mid conductors. All right, let's swap out that nickel now. And we have an Indian head penny. So a smaller coin, an Indian head, it's a high conductor, and we're just going to put it right in between again. So this is the Indian head penny. Nice. So it hits the high conductor, it's fine. It's just something, something weird with that. Okay, so that's 
if I put a, hot, a larger mid-conductor in there, it hits it fine. And I'll show you that in a second too. So here's the AT Pro on the Indian head. All right, let's take, let's put my ring in there. So there's the Indian head. Here's my uh, wedding ring. All right, so we got that in the middle now. Simplex hits that fine. And we know the AT Pro will. I live on a dead-end street. It's like a highway today. Yeah, hits my ring fine. Let's go back to the nickel and see how far we have to separate them. Where is the nickel? All right, so let's separate these a little more. So now we got maybe a half inch gap. And this is level. So we have, now we're level, maybe a half inch gap. Oh, maybe a little more on each side of the nickel. Come on, Simplex. So it's trying, but I mean, you're metal detecting, you're swinging along. You're not gonna hear that. Maybe a faster speed, slower speed. Let's try the AT Pro. I mean, the AT Pro hits them, hits it with it right on it. So, these are these two are close. Now slow. So you get one beep and you hone in on it. Let's see if we can hone in on the, with the simplex too. Yep. If we find it, we can hone in on it. That's good. Okay, so that's better. Get a half to three quarters of an inch away from it and we find it. So that's good, that's better. And the high conductors uh, seem fine. Uh, we could probably put the iron right on top of the high conductors and find it, let's see. Let's try that test. So we got both of them right on top of that Indian head pen. Look at that. No problem. Let's see if the AT Pro will hit that. Ooh. I guess they're comparable. Oh, that's better. A little bit different angle, I guess. Let's put the simplex back over that. Yep, not a problem with the high conductors. Let's see what happens with the nickel. Both right on it. Can't even hone in on that now. Try a little bit different of an angle. Nope. Let's see if the AT Pro can do it.
Yep, finds that without a problem. All right, everyone, thanks for watching.